last place was 96 square feet. I think I was there for two years. I was thinking it'd be really great to have like a real kitchen and so I did try to do the search for roommates, but most of the places with roommates, even in this neighborhood, were pretty pricey. So I kind of just swooped up this one when I found it. So this is my place. It's 78 square feet in my midtown mansion, if you will. <laughs> So I pay 800 a month for this place. I guess everyone chooses how they want to spend their money. And of course I could get a bigger place, I guess, but I like the compact nature of it. So you can just prop your feet up on the wall. <laughs> you don't need an ottoman, you know? The smaller space you have, the more kind of critical it is to really be efficient with how you use it and especially how you furnish it. And especially like when you have like limited square footage, it really makes, like the inch can make a difference, you know. Since I'm here a lot of the time for work, because I work actually from home, I don't like it to, to feel so small and so closed. For the bed, I gotta move the couch cushions. If you have a bed in the space, it kind of closes everything off. So I built the bed so that it could just kind of tuck away, kind of like a Murphy bed, but the other direction. And then it just hinges down. So this is the bed. <laughs> Ta-da. It's super easy. And then the hardest part is making the bed, but everyone knows that if you have the bed up against the corner. And then when you're done, you just put it back up. And you've got your living room again. And then it becomes a couch. So this way, it's a lot easier for me to kind of hang out and feel like it's a living room or an office, <laughs> if you will. This is. My desk, <laughs> my home office, if you will. Yeah, this is where I um, do all my work, my architecture work. Yeah, and then I just built this little desk um, top platform. These guys I got from Home Depot as well, the little cabinets. And so yeah, I can just have like pens and stuff and you know, junk. It's like, everyone has their junk drawer, right? Even in a, even in a little closet apartment. <laughs> and then the fridge, this is my kitchen. And that makes up one side of my, one side of my desk. <laughs> And then the, I built this closet door here, just to kind of close stuff off. Here, I mean, again, since I can work from home, I don't have to have a lot of like office clothes, so I can fit everything. And my dirty clothes and another junk bin. Yeah, my bathroom stuff is just right here. I just kind of pull it as I need it. A couple books up there and my towel rack and everything. So, well, this thing was already built in, this little cabinet, so I just put a door on it. Built this um, door and these little shelves and put these shelves in there. It kind of fits just about everything I need. And then, if I do want to get something else, I have to be very careful. I have to say, well, what can I get rid of? <laughs> and then this is the other part of my kitchen, I guess, is my microwave. And then my printer above that. And then I do have some dishes, <laughs> so, so I can have cereal, I guess. Well, how do you eat then? I'm vegetarian, so I don't have to cook meat. So that probably makes it all possible. I was away, so there's a grapefruit. Some peanut butter, <laughs> yeah. And so I just eat like a lot of vegetables, fruits peanut butter, cheeses, things like that. Stuff that I can just eat out of the fridge. I do make eggs in my microwave, which is kind of, everyone thinks that's kind of weird, <laughs> but it works. <laughs> so for tea, I'm gonna have to fill up my cup in the bathroom. <laughs> this is the bathroom that me, myself, and then there are three other apartments that are similar size. So the four of us use this I grew up, you know, our family, we only had one bathroom for the family. So I'm used to, you just hold it five minutes if you, if you have to, you know, whatever. I love cooking and stuff, but, you know, if I have to, if I get the hankering to cook, I can go to a friend's place, so, yeah. Do you see this as a sacrifice? No, I mean, I guess everyone has their own compromises, you know. So I don't have a kitchen, but... I'm five minutes from a lot of the activities that I do. Ta-da! <laughs> Tea! <laughs> so I usually spend my days looking at drawings and, <laughs> and building them. <laughs> so. Or bigger homes. <laughs> much, much bigger homes, yeah. <laughs> With storage closets the size of my apartment. <laughs> I work a lot here. When I work, I'm here. When I'm not working, I'm not really here. You know, I'm either running around taking a class or meeting up with friends. 
The thing about having a big place is furnishing it, because that gets really expensive too. So I just kind of designed my own. I keep my tools under here. I have some of my winter clothes. Oh, and there's one of my winter coats. So there's like a circular saw and hammer and some goggles. Even in Manhattan, we have Home Depot. You just get plywood, lumber, and so on, and I just make it inside the space. So, you know, I, I framed everything out, and, but I still just use two by fours and stained them, you know, so that it looks kind of like furniture. <laughs> but it's, it, you know, and then these recessed panels and everything, the black panels, the dark stain, I think, is the, is the big secret. <laughs> you just paint it with chalkboard paint. So this one went together relatively cheaply. I think it ended up being around $170 for all of the material in here. My family members, they visit me and they'll just come and stay with me here. A few months ago, my two cousins came, so they took the bed and I just took the couch cushions on the floor and, you know, so it's kind of like sardines, but, you know, if it's just for like a vacation or a holiday or something, it's, it's not that bad. It's kind of like camping every day, you know, so, you know, if there were two or three people living here, it might get kind of crazy, <laughs> but people do that too, you know. I was just living in a place like that. In between this place and my last place, I was living in Kenya in a place that was like half the size of this, made of mud. So for me, this is, you know, this is like a big step up. I guess it's all relative, but yeah, this for me is comfortable. Maybe one day I'll have a bigger place, but for now it's, it's good. <laughs>